Hey folks, Vlad again here at Gun For Hire at our shop. Today, if you were with me for the pistol red dot video, today we're gonna do the same thing for rifle. Um, just picked out some stuff from our shelves that I like, something, that, some stuff that I wanted to talk to you about, make you a little bit more familiar with um, their operation. We'll start with the Vortex Spitfire. So this is Vortex's um, red dot, it's a prism optic. So what prism means, it, it, there is a magnification to this already. So it'll come in a one time magnification or a three time, I believe, or a five time magnification. This is a three time magnification Spitfire HD. This is the Gen 2. So very rugged. Battery compartment is right here on the side. Elevation and um, windage is on top and on the side. It comes with a Picatinny mount. So it'll go right onto any Picatinny rail that you may have on your rifle. The brightness adjustments are here, the rubberized uh, buttons, whether you want to make it brighter or lower. Comes with cover caps in order to keep the glass out of the elements. Um, really cool looking. That's your Vortex Spitfire. We have another Vortex that I'm going to talk about in a minute, but I kind of want to keep things differently between your prism red dots, your regular normal standard red dots, and your holographics. So like I said, the prism ones have already a, a magnification. This one would be a one time or three time or five time, depending on what you want. Next, let's talk about Holosun. This is the AIMS core. So Holosun's uh, AIMS are advanced. This is, st AIMS stands for Advanced Enclosed Micro Sight. One of the newer platforms for, for Holosun. So I like this. I happen to have one of these on one of my guns. Uh, very, uh, very clear glass, nice sharp reticle good wide, wide field of view so I can, it pops right into my line of vision. Um, really crisp, really impressed by this. This comes in the core option or there's also a standard option that has a, uh, a solar fail or fail safe, solar fail safe, they call it on top. So it, um, it assists with solar light uh, in charging the battery. Next, Let's talk about Trijicon. Love this optic. Love this MRO optic. So this is the MRO HD reticle. It's just a single tube, single dot. There's no junk about this, right? It's very simple to use. The adjustments are right on top. Elevation and windage can be fixed on top or on the side. It has a lot of different settings. It has some NV night vision settings also. Lines up really quickly to their magnifiers, right? But I have quite a bit of these. Probably one of my preferred simple optics uh, on some of my rifles, the Trijicon MRO. Good clear glass, excellent, excellent dot and it takes a lot of abuse. I personally have beat up on these MROs and they just keep going. So those are dots, right? So those, those are regular dots. Now let's talk about holographic dots or holographic um, red dots. So what happens with holographic is there is a series of mirrors that projects a holographic reticle onto the glass that is in here. So that's a little different than an LED light just being put on a piece of glass. So you'll see that these red dots or rifle dots are a lot bulkier um, and maybe a little pricier because of what they do. So the holographic, the some of the benefits of the holographic is that if the, let's say the glass breaks, any piece of the glass that still exists, there's going to be a hologram on that. So you'll still be able to use it. So, um, Quite a, quite a good benefit. So they make these very durable uh, and they run for a long time. The um, battery life on holographic dice, might, on holographic um, components might be a little less than these, but um, 
really good in regards to the holographic benefits of these components. So this is the AMG. We call this the Huey. This is um, hol this is Vortex's AMG UH1 Gen 2 holographic site, um, also known as the Huey. Um, really nice. It has night vision capabilities. It mounts onto the Picatinny with a quick detach. This has a uh, a unscrewable battery comp compartment, which is like, you can just screw it off and pop it on, which is kind of, you don't need any tools, which is kind of brilliant because so many of these things, you need tools to get the battery compartment open. Elevation and windage adjustments are on the side. Your brightness settings are rubber buttons right in the front. Really, really great. Uh, that really crisp, man. This glass, it's unbelievable. Really awesome, awesome vision on that. Um, wide window, so you don't have to fight with anything else. You'll see everything through that window. The more you can see through a window, the better your field of view. So that's important in recognizing threats, recognizing targets, recognizing what's happening in your line of vision. Next is we're going to talk about an EOTech. So EOTech if you saw my pistol video, you saw that I said that they were late in the game in regards to pistol optics. This though, they've been in the game for quite a bit in regards to rifle red dots. These are probably the most trusted, most tried and true dots that you can find. I know I ran one, I think, I believe it was the 512 with uh, my law enforcement team. Um, the 512 was a longer, dot which held which uh, were used double a batteries so what they did was there, there were some issues with the double a batteries coming and losing its contact because of the recoil of the of the guns but now they switched it to a cr123 battery which sits this way rather than this way which was able you're able to keep the contact going a lot better um eotex known for clear glass they're known for crisp dots so that's what you have here uh, and it's holographic so the holographic site the eotech's known for their halo and red dot so that's what you'll see here if you learn more about them you'll be able to use the dot and know what to use for certain holdovers um, so this is the epx the epx3 um, there are different versions. You'll, you can have your reds, your greens. You can have some that are QD. You can have some that are don't come with any particular mounts. And you'll be able to choose your mounts. You have some um, that uh, come in all kinds of different colors, different configurations. Some of them, the dot matter. So some of them will have one dot or two dots, depending on what you want your holdovers to be. They all symbolize something. They all help with something or another. So your choices are there in regards to what's available. There are so many different configurations, so many different manufacturers. Um, this is just quite a, a few that I took out of our shelves to talk about, but there's so much more. Hopefully we'll see you here at our shop. Come in, check out what we have. You'd be able to take them off the shelf, take a look at them, touch them, see what they are all about, see what the glass is like, see what they, the dots actually look like, ask questions, that's why we're here. In regards to my preferred, I think I mentioned them already. What I, this is my rifle, it's got an EOTech on it. I have a couple of rifles with EOTechs because that's what I'm used to from my background with law enforcement. Um, the MRO, I think I mentioned also, I probably have more MROs than anything else. It has a great price point and it's, um, it's kind of like a no nonsense dot. It has a crisp, crisp, clear reticle and the glass is phenomenal. So really easy to use. So I, I think a lot about the functionality of what I use and the MRO functions correctly is very durable. Um, when it comes to holographics, I chose, this is just my opinion, I chose the EOTech. Talk soon. Come in.